So last time we ended with verse number 55. And we will also start there because there are more quotes. So last time we heard about the, lan, the loud chanting and it was said in Bhakti Sandarbha that loudly chanting is the best. Those who chant loudly do not only benefit themselves but also all other living entities. And as we know, this is in connection with the Sadaka. But of course, there is also another side. And in Anandadas Babaji's uh, commentaries, it's going further. So let us hear more. The highest worshippers see the statue of the Lord as being directly God himself. Their devotion will be broken if they would consider the deity to be different from the Lord. Now comes the next quote from Chaitanya Charitamrita. Nama Vikraha Svaruptina Ekarupa Tine beda nai, tina chit ananda rupa. We also heard last time this quote. The name, the deity and the constitution of God are all one. There is no difference between them. They are all transcendental. So now this is actually the nice connection to our Swarup. Because if we want to be on that level of understanding or feeling, then how we can actually feel that? Without Citadea, not possible. Because they are all in a transcendental platform, so we should be also. So in our Citadea, it is we will be able to have this experience that there is completely no difference between the name and the form, the constitution, the qualities. When we chant Radharani's name, we will feel the qualities. We will feel that the name is Rata herself. But on the platform, which we spoke before, where the best is to, ch to chant loudly, this is not possible. Because this is a material body. Also, you may use this, this body for spiritual advancement, but you're not completely spiritual with a completely clarified heart. So Srila Anandadas Babaji is giving both of these examples and he starts with the sadaka and goes more deep. And he is taking the quotes of Chaitanya Charitamrita to make it very clear and to make a very solid foundation. And 
and he was given examples where the devotees could actually feel this connection with the Lord, like we know about the queen who wanted to gift Sri Gopal her earring, uh, her nose, her, her pearl as a nose ring. And then Gopal actually, in the night, appeared and said, you know, there's a little hole in my nose my mother made when I was small. You could use this hole and put this pearl inside. This is only possible if you have a direct experience on a spiritual platform. Otherwise, how you could hear the Lord talking with you. So in this case, we saw that it's coming up to a very personal relationship. And in the end, we can hear Srila Prabhupada Saraswati in this connection, his prayer. I will soothe my burning heart by seeing Radha and Krishna's meeting place, and I will roll around there in great loving ecstasy crying out, O Radha, O Queen of my heart, O Lord Giri Varadhari, where are you? And we can see that this prayer is on a different level. Because why Srila Prabhupada Ananda Saraswati is crying for Radharani and for her lover? Because she, as Kinkari, wants to render service. It's not for her own benefit. It's not that Srila Prabhupada Nanda Saraswati feels bad or sad on the platform of Sadaka and is crying for Radharani that he could feel better. It's the kinkari crying for seva. Like Radharani herself is always eager to serve her beloved. She's not interested in any of her own sense gratification, even spiritual sense gratification. Because in her case, there is no sadaka. <laughs> so if we compare this, it's just the cry for seva. I want to serve you. That's another level. And we can see that Ananda Das Babaji is actually following the nature of Rasa because this is going up and he's starting from Sadaka and coming up to Sitadeya and is going up in the highest possible 
state. And in this way, Sripad says, let my mind always stay with the soft lotus feet of Sri Radha. In the same mood like now in Vrindavan, let me always serve the lotus feet of Gurudev and massage his feet, like we can see. So this is the mood. Let me stay at Radha's feet to serve her. And it's going up higher. There's another meaning Srila Anandadas Babaji is writing here from this verse and understanding. Sripat is a kinkari and is serving Sri Radha in Yavat. And Sri Radha's agony of separation from her lover simply increases. And when she finally faints, the maidservant revives her by loudly singing Hari's names in her ears. And now we have the connection of the loud chanting before in Sadakavish. Now it's in in his spiritual form, in his Siddhartha, and he's loudly chanting for her Radha to remind her, sing the names of her beloved for Radha. So we see another level. And she understands the holy name in another way. Would you like to hear Radharani's understanding of the holy name? Yes? So I will jump a little bit outside of the quotes. But it's actually connected, so it's not. Uh, not far away, and we have to understand that there are different levels of the chanting. So, this is the taste of Radharada, of Radharani. Once Sri Radhika tried to stop the tears, she cried out of separation from Krishna by meditating on him and constantly repeating these names of him. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Namas, Shravana Matrena, Mama Mano Harasi. Now, this means, Hare, you steal my mind when I simply hear your name. Krishna Vangsi Vajena Krihatvanam Mama Kasashi. Radhe Guru, if want to say, Hare, you steal my mind. Means Radhe, you steal my mind, Krishna is telling. So Hare means Radhe. Yeah. Well. 
So now comes Krishna. By playing your flute, you attract me from my house into the forest. Hare Lacha Dayartikam Harasi. Again, Hare. You steal my shame and my patience. Krishna Sangha Saurabhyena Mama Karsasi. Krishna. You attract me with your bodily fragrance. This is also one meaning. When Shraddha is suffering, and one the Hare Krishna is also Radha. Krishna is still the heart of Radha and Radha is still the heart of Krishna. Both of us, by each other. Each other. It's mutual, both sides. Anurag. Anurag, yes. And then, if they embrace each other, that is real and right. Come in the picture. But it is also very nice explanation. But really. that's the understanding of Radha when she hears the Maha Mantra. And then again, Krishna, with your bodily lustre. You attract me and make me greedy. And another Krishna, with your supreme bliss, you attract me and make me greedy. And then the next Hare. You bind me in your arm and take me to a bed of flowers. Again, Hare, there you take off my undergarments. And in this way, Srilananda Das Babaji stops here, but he is saying, in this way, there is also a very relishable and confidential meaning to the Hare Rama half of the mantra. So the other half of the mantra. It's more confidential. And Srila Ananda Babaji stops here to explain that. But we can understand that Radharani is reminded by every syllable of a special Leela. And of course, Radharani is stealing all of Krishna's senses. So in this way, we can have a more deep understanding of the chanting of Hare Krishna. So, Gurudev, could you please bless us all that we can get this deeper feeling when we chant? Beautiful. This is to realize. We chant for this realize. And, Gurudev, isn't it that when we chant the Diksha Mantras, this is actually also, the Kama Gayatri is also giving us this deeper understanding. Three nature in this. One is how Krishna is feeling, one is how Radha is feeling, and one is how Manjari is feeling. 
So we don't know what Krishna is feeling. That side eye, we don't know. He is our hero, not my hero. He does Krishna, our hero, because he accepts like a hero, so we accept him. But one Radhika, what feeling? But we have to find out what Manjari is feeling in this meditation. This is our the reason for chanting to us. Actually, I find it very interesting that in the next verse, the mantra is telling, although Krishna may softly kiss me, embrace me, and intoxicate me, still, Sri Rati, my mind dwells in the wonderful flavors of your lotus feet. So this was the quote, the quotes from verse number 55 from Sri Sri Radharasa Sudhanidhi. So if anyone wants to comment on that, Gurudev, of course, you're always invited. And also all the others are invited to share their feelings. Last time we had so much interesting questions. So please, if you have questions or want to share something, always invite it. So the next quote I found in Shishirata Rasa Sudhanidhi is in verse number 57. And because we want to have the connection, first we hear the theme, the topic, and then the quote. Today, the Sakis have thought of a prank. While the loving couple sits on a jeweled throne, deeply in love with each other, one Saki comes up to them from behind and binds their garments together as if they are newly married couple. Radha and Madhava are so deeply absorbed in each other's sweetness that they don't notice it. The Sakis then give a hint to the Manjaris to go and pick flowers and make flower gardens. Some Sakis then hang these garlands around Radha and Madhava's necks while making the Ulu Twani. Some Sakis perform Arati to them and others throw flower petals at them while laughing and rolling against each other of ecstasy. Sri Radhika, who is absorbed in relishing Madhava's sweetness, becomes a little doubtful when she sees the behavior of her friends and things 
There must be some hidden reason why they are having so much fun. She looks all around, beautifying the Kunja with her beautiful glances. But when she gets up, her clothes are pulling at her. She sees that her garments are bound to Shyam Sundara's garments and says with an angry expression on her face, Oh, that's why you are laughing so much. Who has ever seen her so angry with her friends? Oh, fool-faced girls, she says. Is this how you show your desire to have a marriage festival with this cowherd debauchee? All right, come. I will arrange the marriage of each of you. I will be the priest for the fulfillment of your desires. How beautiful is Srimati's angry face. Nagara is absorbed in the sweet mellows of that face. And that is exactly what the Sakis wanted to accomplish with this prank of theirs. Again, Nagara is absorbed in the sweet mellows of that face of Radha. And that is exactly what the Sakis wanted to accomplish with this prank of theirs. So here we can see again, they are not choking, they are not making pranks just to have fun for themselves. They always have a higher goal. Their seva always serves the mutual love of Radharani and her beloved. Always. Krishna becomes more eager. Always this is the savor of the Mandri. Therefore, the marriage festival in childhood play mentioned in the text is not actually marriage. In Sri Vandavan, only the pure parakiras, the extramarital relationship, exists. Again, I think it's a very interesting point. There is no marriage in Vrindavan. Only the purest is said. Only the pure parakya rasa, the extramarital relationship exists. Although the marriage is not entirely from love or the mutual inclination of a youth and a maiden, without ceremonies and without consulting relatives, parakya bhave attira sera ulas bracha ihara antyatra nahivas chaitanya chari amrita. Here's the quote. The extramarital mood is more blissful and more tasty and it does not exist anywhere else but in Braj. So it's the most pure rasa. And it's only existing in Braj. And this is what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came to give to all of us.
So if someone wants to share on this, the feelings or explain it a little further, please, you are invited. Gurudev, maybe you want to explain us why there is no marriage. It's a very pure. Pureness is a divine. And it only exists in Vrindavan. Why? We don't understand this of Radha Krishna Parthiya. It was happening. If you see the mother and the Krishna is also Parthiya. Father and Krishna is also Parthiya. All relations in Braja is in Parthiya. So who relish this Parthiya bhav, this Manjari don't want to go Goloka. They want to go to Goloka Vrindavan. They don't interested in going to Goloka. Because there is Sakya bhav, and here is Parkia Bhav, so they say Goloka Vrindavan. What is this Goloka Vrindavan? This is what bomb Vrindavan, there is a Dibba Vrindavan. And that they want to live in the Parkia Bhav. For this, they don't want to go to even the Sakya Bhav in Goloka. So because of Gurudev's explanation, now we can, we can understand why Radharani is actually acting like this. She is saying to them, ah, you want to marry him. I can arrange, no problem. Because this is the mood of Goloka, but not of Brindavan. So Radharani is also choking here. Yeah, it's a very pure love. Only why there is, was mention of undergarment of Radhika. This array is like this. Why my mind goes out from the material thinking in this Radhika's undergarment. So this uh, unique things is written by Rasika that anyway your mind fixed there your life will change. Where is your attachment? They give all the words that bring your attachment here in Radhika's lotus. So can we understand then, Gurudev, that Tringara Ras is helping us in this way to lose our material attachment? Because this is Tringara, isn't it? Every uh, uh, detail. And that Sringara means Krishna. Sringara means Krishna. This all the decoration of Radhika is Krishna. So Radhika, every decoration is Krishna there. That is Sringara. Our decoration is to show others and her decoration only for Krishna. And when he reached 
when she starts moving for Krishna, she starts throwing that because this decoration is not required. He becomes her blouse. Uh, yeah. Krishna becomes blouse. It's all decoration. Every cloth even. Even undergarment of Radhika, under brassiere of Radhika is also Krishna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So in this way, whatever the king, whatever she's taking, earrings or uh, a jal, whatever she's taking, that's Krishna. Yeah, it's giving Krishna to Radharani in this moment, Shringara Seva, because she is. Uh, Decorating herself, decorating herself with Krishna. This is her decoration. <clears throat> and sharing the decoration with Moha. Yeah. Like the red. Sindur. What is the name? Sindur. 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 Sharing with Moha. This, they're both. I'm so passionate because you are black, my hair. I'm so passionate for you only. That's it. Only for one, two black guy. I yeah. see the picture and I listen the name. This two black guy, the name is Krishna, and the CI picture with the flute, these two make me mad. I am a pa passion, full passion only for you. I don't know if this is. She struck with her friend that I'm become crazy. I fall in love with two persons. So three good days. Three One person. more is the playing yes. blue, listening. Yes. She was become crazy by three. Three. The Saki says, this is all one, <laughs> not three. <laughs> <laughs> So in this way we can understand that the marriage there is not a real marriage. It's just according to the Gandharva way. So Even it's actually… Manjari, it's, Manjari marriage is also not real marriage. Mm, I'll be wrong. It's only, uh, the, only to, uh, to meditate that also we have the same type of marriage, only the, to keep ourselves in that area where she lives. So here we can see, this is underlined by a statement of Chaitanya Charit Amrita by Anandadas Babaji. And again, I will read the verse, Parakya Bhave Atira Sera Ulas. Bracha vina ihara anyatra nahivas. The extramarital mood is more blissful and more tasty, and it does not exist anywhere else but in Braj. So Chaitanya Charit Amrita is giving us this parakya. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is giving us this present. And the wonderful thing is, there is Vrindavan Dham, but we also know there is There is, uh, sorry, I forget the word, I'm just, uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's dharma is somebody here? Navadvip. Navadvip. Navadvip dharma, yes, sorry. 
Sometimes I'm missing a word. So Navadvip Dam. And Navadvip Dam, the nine islands actually, they are giving a special mercy, isn't it? Because there you can even be in your sadak, but still you have this connection and the entrance to Vrindavan. So this is the bridge from Sadak to Siddhartha. Otherwise, how could we ever come there? And this is the mercy of Radharani. She built that bridge for us to come from the bodily consciousness, Aishwarya Bhav, into that world of rasa and to the highest rasa possible. Isn't that amazingly astonishing, merciful? So actually, this bridge is also giving us here a bridge. Because the next point is the call of Rasa. Rasa is calling us. Verse number 58. When may the daughter of King Bishabanu, who is expert in playing the veena and singing sweetly, and whose gait is, a char is as charming as that of a she-elephant in root, meet the king of elephants, Sri Krishna, who plays his celebrated flute so nicely in the fifth note that is resembled the sound of a vipanchita vina on the bank of the Yamuna, the call of Rasa. Commentary in this verse, Sripat gets a vision of the Rasa dance the crown jewel of all of Krishna's pastimes. The blazing mellows of the Rasa Lila enchant even the Lord himself. Sri Krishna says, Nahi chana smitte rase mano me kitrisham bhavet. I cannot express the feelings that arise in my heart when I remember the Rasa dance in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu Uddhava Mahashaya says my heart is greatly astonished when I remember the mellows of the Rasa Lila that increased even the astonishment of Sri Hari. Here comes the quote. Chaitanya Charitamrita Matya Lila 8 states Samyak Saravasana Krishna Rasa Lila Rasa Lila Vasana Teratika Shrinkala Tahavinura salila nahi boy chite. Krishna's desire in the Rasa Lila is complete, and Sri Radhika is the binding link in that desire. 
without her, he does not like the Rasa Lila. Therefore, Rasa Rasika Krishna, who enjoys the Rasa dance, blazes his flute with new expertise to call Raseshwari, Radha, the queen of the Rasa dance. Krishna's desire in the Rasa Lila is complete. Gurudev, what does it mean? Krishna's desire in the Rasa Lila is complete. And Sri Radhika is the binding link of that desire. His desire was to give the happiness to all gopis. This was completed. Rasa is for the Maharasa to make happy to the gopis and leave the Radhika and dance with the gopis. Manjari has no desire this. Manjari is only watching in center of Swamini and Krishna, but Krishna has fulfilling the desire of the gopis who is waiting for a long time. And this gopi, who is das, Radha Dasi, she forgets when she finds the Krishna, she forgets about Swami. This is Sanchari Bhav. She is the Dasi. She says, I am the friend of you because you, I am your expansion. But when he, Krishna has come near and he starts dancing, then she forgets all Radhika. This is Gopi Bhav. But Manjari, no bothering for Krishna. He is fulfilling his desire. But Manjari has a one desire to keep the mind in Radha, so to speak. He is Sai Bhav. But Gopis has a Sanchari Bhav. Even the Sakis also want to be meeting with Krishna. And this point, he can say more, Gaura Sunda. He, he, <laughs> he research and he master in this subject. Again, tell me the question, please, Gauravani. <laughs> now change your, change your direction of your tour. <laughs> So, my dear Gorasunda, Krishna's desire in the Rasa Lila is complete, is written here. And Sri Radhika is the binding link in that desire. Yes. What does it mean? So, what could have explained that complete is the gopis and the Radhika. But without the Radhika, he is not complete. Even if there are as many as possible gopis, he will never be complete. So, if she leaves the rasa dance, he will not stay there. If any other gopi will leave, no problem. But if she leaves, he will run behind her. Then, he is no more complete. She makes him complete. She is the only fulfillment of all his desires. Other can fulfill some desires. But the meaning of Mahabhav is fulfill all desires of Krishna and make him complete. Actually, what Gurudev explained, she is the inner potency, the inner Shakti of Krishna. He can never be complete without her. They are one in two bodies. Without Radhika, he is always only half. And uh, it's also described that when she leaves, 
Krishna is uh, running behind her to find her, right? So he's only complete with her. Thank you very much. Sometimes we also look for our partners in this life. And uh, then we say, I found my soul partner, right? So we have a... If we find this person, we are in the same situation. We feel complete. Without our soul partner, we not feel complete. Something is missing. And this in a higher potency is the same in Krishna. So Radhika is also his soul partner. Yes. Yes. So the binding link is in that desire is our Radhika. Very nice you explained, and of course, Gurudev also wonderful. And because of both of your explanations, I get inspired to add also a little bit on that. So, actually, who is the source of all rasa? We know Krishna is the, how you say? Rasa Vaisa. Rasa Vaisa. Yes, Rasa Vaisaha. What, what, beholding the Rasa. He yeah. is the uh, behelter. Holding. Container. He is the container of the Rasa. But the source of the Rasa is Radharani. So, Rai. so Rai. who could, Rai. yes, Rai. No, no, right, right. Right. Right, 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 Rai. Yes. So actually, because of her wish, that's my feeling. Krishna has the desire to also fulfill the desires of all the other gopis. Because, because this is Krishna, this is the mercy of Radharani. Krishna is not looking individual gopis. He see they are all expression of Radhika. He no see out of anything than Radhika. He is he, so, he the Supreme Lord. He knows it is all expanded by Radhika. And I have to, any desire of Radhika, I have to fulfill. So this is what I meant. She is the source of all that what happens. Because her expansions are actually coming together with her beloved. And when she's going from the from the rasa dance, she's sitting there, and Radha and Krishna are coming together, and they start to have a nice exchange. But then Radharani thinks about her girlfriends. Oh my God, why they cannot be with him now? And then Krishna reads the mind of Radharani and went. He went away. And in this way, the girlfriends of Radharani came. So all this actually, without Radharani, it wouldn't be possible. So it's her mercy and she is the source of all this rasa, which is uh, condensed there. Isn't it, Gurudev? Yes, but little add like this. The Please, gopis, yes. 
when he find uh, his Krishna, they forget the source. She this therefore the gopis forget Radhika. <coughs> this is Sanchari. They are not as high with Radhika. They become as uh, they this was as high was gone with Radhika. When they find gopis, Krishna, then the Krishna was as high for him. This is was the this was the goal of fulfillment of the Krishna is the goal for gopis. And he got the Krishna, so he is happy. And when see the love of gopis, Krishna also become very attracted with this. When he see this attraction, and also of the what is the Chandravali. The Chandravali is also catching very strongly and he said, you are mine. No, I'm yours. I'm, I'm, yours. I'm yours. You come to me. Now I am not going to leave and very carefully dancing that you are not hurt with me. So that uh, you have nothing to go. When Radhika see this, the, Krishna is also attracted with this influence, and now he is, he is interested in that. <laughs> then Radhika leaves that place, and when Krishna opens his eyes and he remembers Radhika is not there, then he become he also leaves that place. incomplete. Yes, then Krishna also missing. So that means the friends of Radharani forget her when they can enjoy with Gopi. Krishna. But Gopi, Gopi friends. Yeah. But Radharani will never forget them. And this shows the mercy of her. So they never forget that he say, okay, today you are happy, I am going. Yes. This is Radha's mercy. <laughs> <laughs> and Krishna also wants so I both I want you to make happy. Many pastimes in the Govinda Nilamrit, it happened that Radhika arranged everything for the Krishna in Maharas. Many pastimes, if you go in, then you will see with the gopis and sakis. But good, if this is not our mood, so, so why to go in that way? Our mood is Manjari Bhav. This is different. Yeah. So why Gurudev stopped me not to go read the book? Only disturbance. This will disturb you many moods. It creates confusion. You stay in your mood. In, in uh, Radha Sudhanidhi, one mood is how the manjari is fixed in Radharani Lotus. Never deviate to see the Maharasa of the gopis. Only seeing Radhika. Disturbance the loyalty because manjaris are complete loyal. Loyal to Radhika. Good evening, Mr. God, I have a question about Prema Bhakti Chandrika. We find there are also different verses. In the beginning, more about Krishna and God consciousness, and then also some of Radha and Krishna, how they look together so beautiful and yellow and blue and how they enjoy. And then there are also verses about Adik That is yes. it's a stage of the, uh, your mood. Where you are, you have to always keep that mood. What we practice, we don't need to start with ABC. <laughs> like a uh, Rupa Goswami write Padavali. Mm. In this Padavali, many moods are there. All moods are mentioned. Mm -hmm. But what we are practicing this mood, 
Aparada Darsyam, we have to live in that. What other ma mother mood or friend mood, why to read? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If so, somebody starts reading all moods, means he is nowhere. Everybody's darling. Huh? Everybody's darling. Yes. Check of all you said something. Yes. <laughs> why to read a whole book? I take yes, the yes. essence of my subjects. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> but why I recommend Radhara Sudhanidhi Vidlapur only for Radharani? Sai <laughs> Yes, because once we come we become how do you say rooted in that, fixed in that, we can find it everywhere. And it will be like the swan with the water and the milk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You will have only that taste for that because the consciousness is one pointed. The only thing will be crystal clear to you. One pointedness will make crystal clear. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, everything is beautiful, but you don't know where you belong. And the mind will change. Mm -hmm. Like a gopi bhav. Gopi bhav is not a easy thing. Out of bodily consciousness, sense consciousness, your material energy, tamu guna, raju guna, sato guna, yeah. all gunas are not there. This is one day uh, gopi bhav. And then we not fix sanchari. Mm. After that, we are sanchari. You explained this this morning, Uri. That's what we have also. In many temples, there are devotees. They like that we are Rupa Nuga and they like Rupa Goswami, but still they are somewhere stuck in Sanchari. Gopi Sanchari Bhav. See? They don't want to go in Manjari and I don't know why not they make clear at this point. Because there's no one to make it clear, would it? Because no one has this training. So we are very lucky, na, Godavani Bhai, that we get this training from Gurudev. No, no, my, my, and I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning that Gauravani who inspired us to do that. I'm a little Gauravani bit confused because you're speaking through my mouth and in the same time you learn from me, I don't understand. <laughs> With all your mouth uh, is Gorwani. Uh, your mouth, what is coming is a Gorwani. That's the beauty of your mouth. May I ask something? May I? Yeah? Haribo. You hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay, Brother uh, Guru, you said that some 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 devotees want, but they don't have training to become manjaris, or they uh, like but don't want. So, uh, as I understand, in uh, our uh, uh, natural position, we are in spiritual identity not we are not all manjaris so some persons are by their natural position they are they are not manjaris and if somebody really want to and feel that he has to become manjari he will find a way and find the training right so Sunidhi so, Didi, maybe you want to answer, or Gurudev, you want to answer, but I see you are just on the phone. Hmm. I just got a call. I give it to Sunidhi. Too many obstacles, my dear. I think that uh, it depends always also on desire, because we know now there are Rasika Vaishnavas here on this planet, and even Narayan Maharaj says, in one commentary, we should never think that there's okay. not sufficient supply of Rasika Vaishnavas who can help us. And as I know also, the Stai Bhav is given by association. 
and by hearing in a certain mood from Rasika Vaishnavas. So it's not that even we can choose it, it is given to us by the mercy of Shimati Radhika. And according to our desire, we have different, different kind of association. You can further uh, explain on this, Gurudev, how to attain this uh, desire. Maybe our constitutional position is uh, not fixed. It can be developed. There is a potentiality. So it depends on association, on desire, and then also what kind of kata we are listening and what we are desiring. Maybe Gauravani Bai, you can explain better than me. Yes, but also some souls are not in their original position, manjaris, right? Or... Uh, or it, no soul I mean, is in that. No soul is in that. We have okay, not as a not soul, soul, but how? To say. No. I as mean, a soul, we have the we have possibilities. There are potentials. Okay, but, but does any soul from all universes must become manjari? As I understand, no, it's not everyone's power. By the mercy of Chaitanya Nityananda, it is possible for all now. <laughs> it is possible for all of us. That's the mercy of the Kali Yuga. But if we take okay. the chance, if we have the uh, good luck with our Guru, with our Sadhu Sangha, that is another point. But we have the chance to be. In this Kali Yuga, it is possible. Nice bus, nice bus. It comes by association and by good luck, by good fortune. Okay, so again, to make it clear, um, on one side there's the wish in the heart, and somebody wants to have a specific uh, exchange in a rasa that's free, of course. But because of the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, really everyone could get it now. Every soul could get the mercy now. But of course, it's free choice and free will still. But the potency is there that everyone could take it. And this is the mercy of our Radharani. Because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is coming in the mood of Radharani. And without Radharani's mercy, this gift would not be presented in this way. So we are in such a wonderful, lucky situation. You can get it if you really want. But you must try. Be together with others who are in that mood. That's all. So the mercy potency in this age is so high. That's why it's the golden age. Many it's likes to serve life. Krishna, my dear. Is you listen? No. I could not understand, but please tell me what you say, Rade Rade. Yes. Yeah, have it. Ah, yes. No, hörst du mich jetzt? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So many likes to serve Krishna, right? We experience this also. But Krishna, what is his mood? He is the great enjoyer. So if we like to enter in this, we get we get the uh, the gopi. And uh, if we like to serve, this is a unique thing. And this is only in hmm. you see, not so easy. To stay in contact with Brindavan, huh? <laughs> it's easy, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
but potentially the mercy is always there. <laughs> okay, so they are gone. So let's see if they will come back soon. But it's a very interesting theme, actually. Of course, we are all free to go in different uh, rasa. But of course, when mother is coming to the child, the mother wants to give the child the best. This is just nature of love, isn't it? I want to give my child the best. Please take the best. Why you want to have something else? Take the best. So this is the mood of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Why are you searching for any other rasa? Take the best rasa. This is the best. Take it, please. So this is love and that's the nature of love. So we are very happy that we can get this. And that's why it is merciful from us um, to talk about this to others. I mean, of course, it depends on the person, what the person can take or want to take, but it's merciful to distribute that because Radharani wants us to distribute this, this highest rasa, mercifully. This is Sevaras. And this is what we want. We want to be in Sevaras, like Radharani. She's always in Sevaras because she is Sevaras personified. She serves her beloved in the best possible way. And if we follow her and take the mercy from her, the mercy drops, then we can do it in the same way. Like so many devotees are now sharing on the base of the will of Gurudev. You may think from this person's whatever you want, but Gurudev is talking through their mouth, isn't it? I experience again and again when I hear all these devotees speak, I can see, yes, Gurudev is speaking. And this is also the mercy. A little disconnection, but I'm, I'm back again. This is also the mercy. No, Radhe Radhe. Yes, Radhe Radhe. Chavan, how are you? Everything good? <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, may, I, may I say something? Yes, yes. please. My... Uh, my understanding, the please correct me if the I'm not uh, the right, uh, you know. The of course the every rasa, every the uh, situation could be possible. But uh, you said like this the the manjari baba the highest, right? Because uh, can condense to serving and uh, both side manjari only manjari can understand the krishna side and also the radharani side the situation is a uh, place to serving more more and deeper deeper and deeper and the condense and the condense the condense and the um, baba only, only condensed Baba that makes the Swarupa, right? The, if the Swarupa, Swarupa is not coming, nothing happens. So, of course, the, um, every rasa possible, but only the way of the Chaitanya give us to the open the gate to the enter the getting the 
the body to the getting the our our um, jiva uh, can enter by the swarupa so that the only um, way the only way to enter the really 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 enter the place to the real leader is a very small way very narrow way to get to the reach to the swarupa is uh, only the manjari, manjari bar that is my understanding yes thank you very much and i want to underline what you said you see this heart yeah Beautiful. there are different different forms of rasa here yeah, yeah. inside neutral then you see dasyam friendship and so on and the last heart includes all the others right mm -hmm. the same is with mantri bhav because radharani has all rasas in her heart concluded everything inside when you get the mercy of radharani you get the mercy of all possible rasas they are included oh, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. so friendship is included because actually a manjari is also a friend for krishna actually the best friend for krishna because when he cannot get a darshan of radharani to whom he will go? To whom? To his friends with the cows? No. To any gopi? No. To the mother? No. Where he will go? To the manjari. And here he gets what he really wants. So if you want to serve Krishna in the best way, take Radharani's mercy because all the rasas are included and you can serve in any kind of ways. In the best way, like Radharani. Because like you even say in this world, if you are really in love, you say, oh, you know, my partner, He's like a friend, like a mother, like a father, like everything in one person, isn't it? Everything is included. Then you are really in love. You have really a deep, deep loving relationship. Because whatever is, you know, yes, she is with me or he is with me. And, you know, everything is good, even in the worst trouble. So whoever is with Radharani has everything with him. And this is the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There is no bigger mercy than that. Because it is Radharani's mercy. True Chaitanya Mahaprabhu given to us, handed to us. True the Pancha Tattva given to us. So wonderful. What a present. Yes, I think time is over for today.